This is Illinois Extension's Voice of the Wild. In today's episode, we'll hear two voices, the black-capped chickadee and the Carolina chickadee. Here are their respective songs. First, the black-capped, which typically sings in notes of two, And now the Carolina, which typically sings in notes of four. Aside from sounding very similar, these two chickadees look and act much like one another. Both have black caps, white cheeks, and gray backs. Both are regular bird feeder visitors, and both forage trees in mixed flocks with kinglets, titmice, and warblers. So how can we differentiate these two almost identical species? For most birders, it's quite simple. Imagine a line stretching from Philadelphia to the panhandle of Oklahoma. In Illinois, this line runs from Champaign-Urbana to East St. Louis. Chickadees found to the north of this line are almost certainly black cap chickadees while chickadees found to the south of the line are Carolinas. But what about a chickadee found right on the line? Say by someone like me, who lives in Champaign-Urbana. Well, I have bad news. While the birds have slightly different songs, and the black-capped is on average a little larger and more brightly colored, the chickadees that live right on the line can hybridize with each other, rendering those identifying traits useless. Worse yet, they'll sing each other's song. There is one bright side to birding in that narrow overlap. Though you can't be confident which species you might be hearing, you can at least hear the song sung together. Thank you to the Macaulay Library at the Cornell Lab for our bird sounds. And thank you for tuning in to learn a new wild voice with Illinois Extension.